Hi, this is the Balkan Architect and I would like to start a new series of Dynamo tutorials to help you automate your Revit workflow and to help you just do things faster. So today I will create a graph that helps you basically rotate elements in Revit. So let's add some components. I'm just going to use a chair. Let's find it. Load element. You can use basically pretty much whatever you want. I'm just going to go seating, corbo chair, OK. And I'm just going to place it here. And let's say we have a lot of them. Maybe one more row. OK, so we have all these chairs and we want to rotate them all around their axis. So you can select it, you can go rotate, and then you can rotate one. but to do that for all of them would be slow or you can select everything and go rotate but that pretty much rotates the whole set so we want to rotate every each one around their own local z-axis or z-axis so how do we do that uh, I'm just going to go into manage dynamo and dynamo will open like this so you place it so it doesn't really interfere too much with your screen. And I'm just going to go new. And here we have basically the work environment in Dynamo. So what do we actually need to do? We need to have something to select all of these elements or chairs in this case. We need to have something to rotate, rotate them and we need to set the angle of rotation. So I'm just going to search first for something for rotation. Rotate. So just type simply what you think you want to find and then you can search through these results. So we have something like this, this, okay, doesn't really help. Set rotation, okay, set uh, angle of family instance around the local z-axis. Z so this looks like something that we can use. So I'm just going to select it and move it here on screen. And we need to find the family instance, so basically something to load the family into this thing. And we need to type in the degrees. So first I'm going to find something to select the family, so I'm just going to go select model elements. select model element or elements so element is one elements is more so I'm just going to go elements and here it is so I'm just going to select them go select and you can see it found them here here are our families in dynamo and I'm just going to go elements and family instance so this is connected now we need something for the degrees and to make this a bit more interesting I'm going to create it so you can set a slider but before we do that I'm just going to make this a bit shorter and here we have this that's set to automatic that means it's co constantly running your algorithm this is bad because Dynamo might crash and then your Revit will crash and you will lose everything so I'm just going to go manual so every time we want to run this algorithm you need to hit run I'm just going to find some slider. I'm going to go number, number slider. Okay, that sounds good. And here we have this drop menu and we can set the minimum and the maximum. So I'm just going to go minimum is zero degrees, maximum is 360 degrees. And for the step or basically the interval, I'm just going to go 10. So it goes by 10 degrees, you can see that. I'm just going to place it at zero and connect this to degree. Okay, now everything is connected and we can see what we have done. So let's say we want to rotate this at, I don't know, 30 degrees. So I'm just going to set this at 30, go run. And you can see it rotated all elements around their own local Z axis for 30 degrees. So I can go, I don't know, 250. So you can play around and find what you want to have. 
Okay, that's pretty much all for this tutorial. I hope that it's helpful. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more useful tutorials on Revit or Dynamo.